All right, so now we're going to talk about the Retapo room, uh, which is a bigger room, or a more feature-rich room, I think, or than uh, obviously the Tweak room, and arguably in the Paint room, but the Paint room is, uh, I guess, more uh, self-explanatory. So this is the Voxel room. This is the spaceship I built, um, and super complicated, almost impossible to Retapo. So it's not really a good example in the sense that I could redo this whole thing. I have been working on retopoing it, but I stopped it after a while. But essentially, you go, you can pop over here to the retopo room, and there's a, a number of ways to to retopo. Like you want to go the classic route. Um, let me. You can just start uh, making. You know, th when I say classic route, this is uh, so you have to wait till you see that dot appear, or otherwise it's just going to make another point. Um, I mean, that basically says so. Like, if I would click here, see how it doesn't. Um, I, you can actually you can hit backspace to just delete the one. So if I messed up on that, I can hit backspace just, and then just make sure you hit that. Then if you have that selected. Um, Actually, you can come off of it to make sure. So this is just um, one of the tools. So select is basically right up here is going to say what you're actually selecting. So right now auto, but you can click specifically on vertices. Um, and I'm using the right mouse button to move it. So even though I'm over top of this one with the right mouse button, you still have to like so now they're both selected escape none of the nothing selected um so quads uh basically how that's going to work is i'm going to make points um right what am i thinking of oh maybe i'm thinking of this um and then you co come in it's basically going to try to guess the the quad that's going to want to be that's going to be made and this either works or it doesn't, and then it's really frustrating if it doesn't, because you like, basically have to go back and go to add split. So when it does work, it's pretty great. So you just, I'm making two points, and then so see right here, this is I would say not working because it wants to make this quad, which is obviously not what I want. So you have to find just the right place um, for it to guess exactly what you want. Um, but it is a really fast m method, so. I would recommend if you can get it done. So right here is a good example. I'm probably not going to be able to get this one to show up correctly. It's just not. It's just not going to find itself as a quad. So it doesn't always work. And when that happens, you can when you just mouse over it and I hit delete, that'll delete it. And then you can come in here and just do the add split method, which is basically like foolproof. It essentially will always work. And the nice thing is it's mirroring everything, so I'm only, you know, have to do half the work. Uh, caps, so let me do, uh, let me make a situation where it would need a cap. Let's do that, even though it's nasty. Oh, crap. I won't. Let's do, um, well, essentially, what a cap's going to do, and this is going to look horrible right now, is it's going to try to close in an object. So right now, this is terrible, but if I... Let's just go ahead and try to make a situation where the caps are going to be useful. Uh, messed up. So this is another thing that's kind of happens that's a little buggy, is like, if you saw, I had... If I went to this point, I said it's foolproof, and now I prove how it's not. So because this is almost a straight line, for some reason, 3D Coat will just snap, and you'll lose that point. So in that situation, you can either come back and just make a triangle, which it sometimes doesn't work, or just... Um, so I'm middle mouse clicking, or you just have to like exaggerate a different way, like this. Come on. Having trouble with that. Um, anyway, let's. Uh, so the most actually the the most important ones I think are add split, 
these point faces and caps. So caps basically helps you like close in an area because sometimes you won't be able like if there's just a quad right here and uh, you can't finish it because you this only makes quads so then you could come in here and use this tool and it will close whatever space you have extra open. So in this case it was going crazy because it's trying to close this whole odd shape. Um, as far as these other tools are concerned I would say you could play with them but uh, for the most part retopoing with these two tools for this type of uh, setup um, is I think the most useful and uh, I'm going to show you a whole nother method for retopoing the auto retopo but I have to load a file first so I'm going to pause okay so we're back in the voxel room and you have your character that you've spent a long time painting and you want to retopo. So you basically will go, so in this I have I believe two eyes so, but I'm going to right click on in the voxel room and say auto topo and for the most part I would just say use this and for the most part I would say that because I only have ever tried this um, so anyway more things to experiment with so basically it's saying how many um, what's your poly count so we could say 6,000 um, okay now it's saying where is the dense areas like um, essentially you want the nose around the eyes it's a little dense maybe the lips are dense so basically I'm painting where there's detail Just go ahead and give the whole ear detail. And the better you do this, the better your topo is going to um, going to be. So now it's going it's saying to help create edge flow, you just need to come in here and start saying how you want the edges to work. Actually, let's do a whole loop. Loop around the mouth. And again, the better you do this, I mean, I'm not even sure that's a good idea for retopo what I just did, but it doesn't matter. This is all just an example. And you don't have to do too much. I'm just kind of trying to help it out. Again, the more you do, uh, the cleaner you're going to get. So you're going to see, and the thing is you can always go back and, and correct what didn't work out. Just go separate. It's fine. It's good enough. And so let's just move on. So the next, <coughs> and now that's basically all you have to do. And uh, it's going to start like thinking and working its magic. And then you're going to get a because I didn't spend too much time on that. Uh, it's going to be okay. But you're going to see it's a pretty good okay starting point to bring in and tweak and, and rework so that you basically get a better, um, a better mesh. And then we can move all the points in, in retopo room. We don't have to go to the tweak room. And when it says not responding, <coughs> don't worry, that's often it will end up responding. So you can see, like, I'm pretty happy with how well that turned out as far as, like, I mean, I didn't have to do any of that work, and it just retoppled that whole thing. Actually, that turned out better than I thought it was going to. I'm really happy with that. Shoot, I have to say that. Anyway, so that's an, another method for retoppling, and that's one of the super powerful features of 3D Coat that uh, makes me happy. Because when, when you get all this work done for you, then it's like, <laughs> that's right, I did that. <laughs> anyway, um, again, just go ahead, you know. Once you make a, a voxel model, try to retopo it. And then to export it, it's pretty obvious, just export retopo mesh. If you couldn't figure that out, you probably shouldn't be using the application. That's that's mean. <laughs>